Nothing. Order! Oh, order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Almost every criminal lawyer in England and Wales has experienced failings in the disclosure of evidence in the past year alone, according to a BBC survey. The findings come after several rape trials collapsed when it emerged that vital evidence had not been shared with defence lawyers. Clive Coleman reports. You know, who could be dreaming up some sort of monstrous thing against me? William, a teacher for 40 years, has never been in trouble with the police. Last year, he was accused of sexually assaulting a 17-year-old girl in a supermarket. He couldn't remember the incident, but was convinced the store's CCTV would exonerate him. But in interview, the police told him the CCTV was poor quality and too far away to identify him. My lawyer wrote to the Crown Prosecution Service six times, and thank goodness we got it before the trial, because our entire defence was based on that CCTV. Contrary to what the police had said, William was clearly visible on the CCTV. For legal reasons, the complainant is not shown. I never saw these two girls. I brushed past one of them, and that's what the CCTV shows. Based on the video, the court threw the case against William out. Thames Valley Police told us its officers carried out a full investigation and followed standard procedures. Now, 1,300 criminal lawyers have provided a picture of widespread disclosure problems to the BBC. 97% had encountered disclosure failings in the last year. Half of these were in the magistrate's court, and nearly a third believed it had resulted in a possible wrongful conviction or miscarriage of justice. The snapshot provided by this survey blows away the idea the disclosure problems are limited to a few high-profile cases in the Crown Court. It paints a picture of daily difficulties in magistrates' courts like these, where the overwhelming majority of criminal cases are tried. We're facing a crisis around disclosure. Uh, if courts are not able to trust that the disclosure process has been completed fairly and accurately, they're not going to have faith uh, in prosecutions, and I think we'll see that reflected in verdicts. The Crown Prosecution Service said the BBC survey was likely to provide a skewed view, with lawyers applying their own interpretation of what a disclosure failing was, but it accepted some improvements were needed. For William, it's just a relief he finally got the evidence that proved his innocence. If people were at all doubtful of me, it could have destroyed my reputation with family and friends. And and uh, I'm just very lucky that I, I have the kind of friends who believe in me. Clive Coleman, BBC News.